Well, it's that time of year again. A new A24 film, false positive. And I'm not gonna review this one by myself. As you can tell, I am with someone. This is Kim. We just recently watched this movie and what do you think? No buenas. No good. Well, let's dive deep to the film first. It's a movie directed by John Lee, starring Ilana Glazer. I think that's her name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And Pierce Brosnan, James Bond. And this is a pretty, uh, as you said before, it's no good, but what do you think? What do I think? Yeah, it's, a, it's like a movie about like this woman who's trying to get pregnant, but there's like a lot of fear and paranoia. It's almost like a psychological horror. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Yeah. So in case you guys don't know, the story is about this woman named Lucy and she's trying to get pregnant after numerous false attempts with her husband. He takes her to a doctor that he was once a student of. And after successfully getting pregnant, she starts to have questions and very paranoid thoughts about what just occurred or after her pregnancy. Now to get it out of the way, uh, we both have watched numerous A24 films and this comes to my slight issue with it. It doesn't really look like an A24 film. It looks like something out of Hulu, like you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've watched a couple Hulu shows and it looks just like a Hulu show. Yeah, because like you put it up to example with uh, films like The Lighthouse, The Witch, uh, Good Time or Uncut Gems or mm -hmm. like um, you can feel that this film's look feels a little bit more tamed. I get it that it's Hulu, but considering that you can't really use that as an argument because we watched the show Hill House mm -hmm. and it looked like something out of Mike Flanagan. It doesn't look like something out of Netflix. So this movie um, is a slight issue. It's, I'm used to A24 films always looking their own unique way to fit mm -hmm. the story, but this one, it looks it's entirely just for Hulu. Yeah, 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 I get what you mean by that. Cause like you get like Ghost Story, that's its own thing, it's shot similar. Yeah, similar, or you get something like The Lighthouse, that has its Black unique and white. way. Yeah. yeah, but when it comes to this movie, it does feel like a, a product. It feels like a product. Um, it's so weird. I'm just, I'm guessing I'm just so used to it. Now to discuss more into this film, let's go over the positives. I do think Alana as Lucy does a pretty good job with the material she's given. Mm -hmm. Considering that she's usually doing more comedy. Yeah, considering, you know, she was on that comedy sexual show for years, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and I do like this very off-settling presence that you can feel throughout the movie. Like mm -hmm. there's some, you know something's off and the way they go into this hospital is very like cold and it feels like so isolated in a way. Didn't you have one? Positives? Yeah, positives. Oh boy. I just, I somewhat liked the ending. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the ending was pretty shocking. Uh, I do think... Uh, not to give away too many spoilers, I think the ending was, I think the ending was surprising. Yeah. I, that's, I, I think that's, that's the good. best, that's best way I can explain the ending. It was surprising, but the majority of the movie, I think we can both agree is that it was very kind of flat and boring. Yeah, I thought it was rather boring. And you said you, one of the positives was that you could feel that it's off, but that's yeah. one of the things I don't like about it because it feels off from the beginning. Yeah. Like everything feels wrong from the very beginning. So it's like, I feel like that plot twist would have been more shocking if it didn't feel off from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plot <laughs> twist is kind of a spoiler. <laughs> is it? Yeah. You're saying there's a plot twist in the movie and now people are like, oh. <laughs> I mean, that's what, you watch it and you just know there's going to be a plot twist. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm guessing so. Um, uh, that was a big flaw that we kind of have with this movie. It's uh, a little predictable. It's um, You could probably see it a mile away, mainly because certain characters keep saying the same thing. And then once you like just click things together, it's not really hard to think. You just you give it a minute or two and you're like, oh, OK, I think I'm going to know what's going to happen. Um, I called it out. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I have to, and we can both agree on it, like the scares were like, there were no tension at all. 
No, you, like, you were calling them scares, and I was like, wait, were there scares in this movie? Like, I didn't even consider them scares. Yeah, there were scenes where it was just setting up something, and it didn't go nowhere. Like, we had this, like, repetitive thud. Yeah. That's happening. In some scenes, uh, the main character, Lucy, would be chilling with her husband, and then there'll be a thud. We don't know what that thought is. Uh, it doesn't really explain it much. Uh, it just was left. It was left and we didn't know what was going on after. It didn't explain, I don't know what the thud was as much as I try to analyze this movie or try to just constantly repeat it in my head. Mm -hmm. The thud, I don't think really has a point. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, other than like it got her out of bed. Yeah, it just got her out of bed. So the weak point about the scares is that all these scares, they always end the same. So mm -hmm. it makes the next scare kind of predictable. Yeah, like you're like, okay, it's the same thing that's gonna happen again. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's predictable in any way. Plus the movie has a weird plot point. What if, if she's crazy, mm -hmm. if Lucy is crazy and we don't really get a clear clarification of that. They were trying to hint it at maybe there's a possibility of her being pregnant. There's a lot of just fears and paranoia. Mm -hmm. Or if it's maybe the medication or maybe something to do with this hospital. But again, like the majority of this movie, none of it is kind of clear in a way. Mm -hmm. You can tell by my issue, the biggest negatives is the unclear plot and the predictable scares. Do you have any, Kim? Just the fact that it feels off the entire time. So like, you know, something's wrong the entire time. Everyone seems ingenuine. Yeah. And you know what? I think the uh, something's always off makes us think and like that. And that kind of makes the movie predictable. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I have to say, like, the concept is kind of, you know, cool when it comes to the whole fear of pregnancy. It's it's like something that usually, you know, the parent will feel like it could be regardless of whatever part of you are is just it just goes into a very high far reach degree to where you're not really uh figuring out where this movie is going mm -hmm. this is one of those movies that really really relied itself on the ending yeah and i think and i think that was his biggest like another one of his biggest flaws mm, the ending? yeah because as we were watching this movie as we kept saying during the whole time watching it we're just like this movie, it's so hidden throughout its plot. Uh, I'm keeping that in. <laughs> As this movie is so hidden with its plot, it's like, man, you really pay it off. You should really pay it off with the ending. Mm -hmm. We do get that payoff, but it's so little. Yeah, it's short. It's short as hell. Yeah, it's <laughs> short. It's really short. We and thought not very satisfying. A little bit, but not. Yeah, it's kind of like... You're like 30% there with the satisfaction. Yeah, the, the ending had a really shocking surprise. This movie was really getting me. I was like, no, no. Oh my God, are you serious? But it, 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 it again, lackluster. You know, I'm glad there's a new A24 film out, but it, it's one of the weaker ones. And, mm -hmm. and judging by how the critics are, this movie is very split. I'm kind of split on it, but it's it's kind of a little below that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. As you can tell, guys, that we are pretty let down by this movie. Um, I was a little excited because I bought this freaking hoodie. <laughs> Minus a good performance and a very interesting idea. And there was this cool little low tempo music they were playing in the background. It does help with some of the suspension. Mm -hmm. But because of this movie not really making sense in a way like i have watched ambiguous movies like i've watched it you know like it guys i i love the lighthouse and that movie's insane <laughs> so in order for me to not really care about whatever hidden meaning that this movie is supposed to have is because i don't think the movie really figures itself out overall this movie <sighs> movie kind of just dropped the ball for me unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> very unfortunate I'm gonna give false positive a four out of 10. That's exactly what I was gonna give it, a four out of 10. You hear that? Well, Kim also gives it a four out of 10. Well, that'll do it for this video, guys. This was a really good collaboration we've done. If you like this video, click the like and hit that subscribe and notification bell and be ready for more videos. I am Angel and she is Kim and we see you guys on the next, uh, almost, oh God, it was so good at the end. <laughs> Just kidding.
keep it like that. <laughs> I'm so good at the end. I got it. Well, anyway, you know, you know the deal, guys. <laughs> just hit the subscribe and notification bell. Hit the like, you know, and just recommend this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, okay. You can you can leave now. W what are you still doing here? <laughs> you can pull in a Ferris Bueller. Fair. <laughs>